Good morning. This may come as a surprise to some of you, but I'm still trying to lose weight. I nixed doing weigh-ins for a little while. That is irrelevant. My new best friend is, uh, surprise, surprise, overnight oats. It's been making me feel better. I know that oats in particular help with weight loss for many, many reasons. I've been making overnight oats for the last little while and I thought I would share some of my favorites. So when I make my oats, I do three at a time. Make sure I have enough in the case of an emergency, but also don't want them to go bad, you know? So let's do that. I'm gonna make three different kinds. It's gonna be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna make these in mason jars because I am an aesthetic millennial. I've got oats, Quaker oat. I'm just gonna fill these about three quarters of the way. So the first one, I need a spoon. maple brown sugar. So I'm gonna take a teaspoon of brown sugar and just put that on top, maple syrup, and do a quick little drizzle on top. The next flavor is gonna be cinnamon and raisin, well my take on cinnamon and raisin, because uh, I don't like just regular old cinnamon and raisin. In fact, I hate raisins. So I'm going to take a slightly smaller teaspoon of brown sugar, sprinkle a healthy amount of cinnamon on the top because anti-inflammatory. And then because I hate raisins, I'm actually using black currants. They're also smaller, so when you're making them in little mason jars like this, you can fit a little bit more in there. And these actually expand after they've been sitting for a little while. For our third, I'm gonna be doing cranberry and honey. Now this is one of my newest favorite creations. I've got some craisins here. Get a healthy amount of those. And then I've got my liquid honey. Do a healthy pour on top. I think I did add a tiny bit of cinnamon to this last time, but it didn't really need it, so I'm not gonna add it this time. All our yummy toppings. I'm gonna add my lactose-free milk. Seal those babies in for freshness, and then I leave mine in the fridge for at least 24 hours. So there you have it. If you were looking for some new overnight oats recipes, and if you guys want another what I eat in the day now that I've kind of got myself back on track I can do that it's been a while since I did one otherwise like and subscribe if you feel like you want to do that and I'll see you in the next one